Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and this is episode 7 of my Building Newcrest series. So if you are new to my channel then I am building Newcrest completely from the bottom to the top using only the base game. If you are interested in seeing all of my other videos on this then definitely check out my channel and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of this series. Um, we are currently building a house that is for two grandparents that are raising their two grandchildren. I have not built a house like this before, like the storyline anyways. I mean, it is just a typical suburban house. Uh, nothing too special about it and it's just blue on the outside. It's just a blue suburban. It does have a porch on the outside of it and I love making porches in my sims builds and I kind of stayed true to the theme of the house next door without looking too samey it's definitely different than the house next door but it it definitely goes together too like I want it to match I don't want it to look like a modern house next to just a traditional suburban house that is definitely not the vibe that I'm going for here. I'm definitely going for like a very much a suburban vibe altogether. And but there is luckily different styles of suburban homes. And so I have been having a lot of fun with it so far. I have this is episode seven, but this would be the sixth house that I've done. And I have uh, one community lot that I have done. If you're interested in seeing that, definitely go check it out. It is a recreation center using only the base game. And it has the park lot type and it works perfectly. It works just as I intended it to be. And it has a whole bunch of different like activities for your Sims. Definitely a video worth checking out. So don't don't miss the opportunity don't miss it definitely go back and check out the past videos you will not be disappointed I promise but anyways more about this house that we are currently working on so it's you know it's pretty basic <laughs> um, it's I enjoy the shape of the house a lot I kind of like how it pops out on the upper layer and then I put these, um, what are those called that you kind of put at the very top of the roof arch? Um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're basically, you put it up against the wall and you put it under walls. Like I, those things that I just popped out, popped out, um, that is what I'm talking about. What are those called? I cannot think of it whatsoever. But I ended up putting some of those under that pop out that is at the top. And there's something about that that I love. I don't know why I like it so much. It's just really interesting. And so I am looking forward to doing more shapes like that in the future. I've done it in the past. Um, this is nothing new for me. <laughs> um, but I still really enjoy it. So um, definitely we'll be doing more of that in the future. And I am also just trying to place where I want the landscaping to be. I had a little bit of hard time with the landscaping. Um, I did something that I don't normally do and I put like a driveway. That is typical of me. I always do a driveway with a car. I just love the way that looks. It looks realistic. And then I used terrain paint to make the actual sidewalk to the house, to the front door. And that's something that I don't normally do. I usually just keep the same, just a pavement and like a concrete pavement, paved stones or whatever. And I'll use that to go from the driveway to the house. Well, instead I wanted to make a curved driveway. And so I made use of the train paint and I think it looks really good. I love the way it looks. I ended up using like the gravel, like that's kind of spaced apart first. And then I put the gravel that's really close together after that. And so it's almost like layered on top of each other and it looks really good. I was really happy with the way it turned out. And here I am, I'm just like finicking with that landscaping right there in the front. I had no idea what I wanted to do. I end up removing most of that in the front and placing the whole lot closer to the front of the lot. 
and so it's a little bit less yard in the front and it ends up looking a lot better that way it was a little bit too far back in my opinion and now I'm just placing some lights outside so this pretty much is how the exterior stays there's not much else to say about the exterior um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the sims that live in this house um, like I said this is for my save file and so I really wanted to put like a storyline with the house and so this is two grandparents raising their two grandchildren um, there was something that happened with their parents when they were young their parents ended up taking a vacation and on that vacation they went on a boat um, they had a friend that was supposed to have like their boating license and was supposed to be like an expert boater and nothing to worry about just a you know a boat trip there's there was no concerns whatsoever and so they went on the vacation they dropped the kids off at their grandparents house aka this house that i'm building <laughs> um and so and the kids were so excited to stay with their grandparents they absolutely adore their grandparents and the parents were supposed to be off um for about a week and just like you know real life <laughs> in the sims they cannot have any cell phone reception out on the open water and they never heard back from the parents um it is believed that the ship was um, ended up getting into a wreck somehow and I believe the parents did not pass away in that um, tragic event they are cast away on some island somewhere <laughs> so that is what happened to the parents and so long story short the grandparents are taking care of their grandchildren now and so um, we do have the two grandparents like I was saying and then we have a teen girl that lives here and a child boy and the grandparents are very typical grandparents super sweet and they are really trying to give their grandchildren the best life possible without their parents and um, grandma she is a very typical grandma she loves cooking making recipes she loves baking cakes making cookies just spending time with both of her grandchildren as well and she also really enjoys gardening out in her, her garden she does not have a very big garden um, there is no greenhouse like the house next door but she just has some really typical plants out there and she just loves spending her days out there in the sun and by her flowers and then grandpa he really loves handiness and he was actually a businessman was his typical career that was the money maker that is how he supported his family but his true passion is with handiness and so I do put a handy like the workbench down in the garage and so grandpa spends a lot of time in there and I also put the child's mental activity table right there next to grandpa's handiness table and I thought it was really cute I thought they enjoy spending their time together on days and the son or the grandson um, is making different potions on his mental activity table and then grandpa is making different like sculptures on his woodworking bench um, I actually placed some stuff around the house that was like made from the woodworking table and so I thought that was a fun little detail it definitely looks like this family really lives at this house you know I really wanted to make it really homey just like I figured grandma would have her house and I also kind of you'll notice my choice of furniture for this build I kind of made it I wanted it to look like grandparents really lived here so there there's some modern aspects of it but there's also some aspects of like kind of like an older style and um that's kind of what i was trying to go for anyways kind of a mix between older style with the modern style and here we are in the backyard this is grandma's garden area and we also put a hot tub i do not ever use that hot tub by the way guys and so I was really glad that I was able to make it look right with this build I pulled it out way in the beginning of the build 
and I really wanted to remember to put it somewhere and so I pulled it out and I was kind of placing it all around the lot trying to figure out a good spot for it when I finally decided to put it here and I thought it was a pretty good spot for it. It's right there next to the pool and I I love this hot tub. I know it was really controversial when the Sam team came out with that hot tub. I mean, yes, the point of the backyard stuff was kind of for the hot tub was part of the selling points. And so that was kind of why it was controversial when they put it in the base game. And so I totally get that. But I do like the look of it a lot. I really like that there's lights on the roof. I kind of wish that they made a version with the roof and without the roof um but we we just have the roof on it which is it's fine i like the roof it's kind of hard to find a spot for it and make the spot look good you know and that's that's kind of the main reason why i don't love the roof on there and then other than grandma's garden i also put um a table out here and a grill i figured they spend a lot of time back here in the back and there's also a pool and some monkey bars and that's pretty much that there was nothing else to really put out here i would have put something else out here if i could fit it first of all and second of all if there was more stuff to actually like put out here but um i almost thought about doing another tree house but there's literally one next door and i don't want to add too many tree houses and so that's pretty much it for the outside anyways. There's really nothing else to say. I, oh, I did want to point out that I put a door out of the kitchen and also a door outside of the dining room. I mean, it probably doesn't make much sense because I mean, they're like right next to each other, but I thought it looked really good on the outside. And so I wanted to add it. And then I also, here I am with the garage, by the way, and I end up putting a car in there. I figured grandma's car is outside um, and this is grandpa's car in here. Either that or I also kind of was thinking, well, you know what? A teenager lives here. So maybe the teenager's car is outside and then grandma and grandpa's car is inside. I kind of like a little bit more. I think it's, um, it's pretty realistic. I mean, teenagers, I did not get a car as a teenager, but, um, a lot of people do and I always wanted one but it just didn't happen so um, I, I like the idea of that being the teens car and then the grandparents car is inside the garage and then I also put like different activities in the garage like I was talking about like the wood table and the metal table and I'll go more into detail about it once we're actually in the garage and I'm working on it right now we are working on the kitchen and this is a different kind of kitchen than I normally do. So I put like a breakfast nook area over there by the door. And here I am putting like the dining table and stuff. Um, you guys are going to see me just placing placeholder furniture here. And that's just to make it easier to plan the whole layout. I wanna make sure I can add everything that I wanna add. And then it, it helps make it not feel so overwhelming when I actually like put stuff down, you know? And, um, I end up putting two bathrooms on the bottom and one on the top, I believe. I think it's like a three bedroom, three bathroom house. And uh, just with a little office nook right there. And I really didn't know what else to put there to be honest. So I put a little office nook. And then up here, there is the room for the teen and the room for the child as well. And then we also have one for just like an, an extra room. And you guys seen me go to Manage World. I was trying to figure out, since this is for my save file, I didn't really have a storyline. At the beginning, I created the storyline as I was building it. And so I went back to Manage World and I wanted to see exactly what kind of Sims I had already in the world. And so I don't want to place like too many teen girls and too many teen boys or whatever it may be i want to make sure there's a good mix of them all and so that's what i was doing i was i was just making sure that um i didn't have too many teen girls and here i am i actually made the family i wanted to like stop halfway through and make the family with the actual like personalities and stuff and that is why I exited and came back and now there's a family here. <laughs> so that is the family. I think I ended up naming them. The last name I think is Clark, if I'm not mistaken. 
Okay, so I just uh, paused this and I looked and it is the Clark family. So I ended up naming their last name Clark and I think they turned out really cute. So um, the teen girl's name is Cassidy and then the child boy's name is Kyle. And then grandpa's name is John and grandma's name is Rose. And I think they're just super cute and just, you know, typical. I kind of went into their personalities already. I'm probably, I did record myself actually making them by the way. And so I probably will post that video of me creating them sometime soon and I'll go into like the actual details of all of them so I don't want to give up too much information now I want to save a little bit for that other video <laughs> but um yeah so a little bit about the build I'll go into I know I haven't told you anything about the kids yet so once I get to their rooms I'll talk a little bit more about them but uh, for right now, we're in the kitchen and this shape, like I was saying earlier, but I got sidetracked it. <laughs> uh, this shape is different than I normally do. The whole style of the kitchen. I don't normally like, I do breakfast nooks often, but I don't normally cut them off like this. And I use you know like a I half mean? wall so... for one side. I almost put some stools there and it really was cute, but I wasn't going to have enough room for the table that I wanted. And so I had to do away with that idea. But I ended up putting like the half wall and then um, some like the spandrels at the top and some columns. And I thought it turned out really cute and so I, I kept it. <laughs> and I'm just trying to figure out the wallpaper and I end up putting the curtains down. I do change those curtains. Um, I think I just changed it to plain white. There's something wrong with me. I can't use any other color but white. I don't know why. White just looks the best. It matches with everything and it, it just makes it really bright and um, it just looks really good. And then I put a rug there in like the center of the whole floor and then um, the cabinets I put like a lighter color. I almost did the darker color but it was kind of clashing I feel like with the reddish orangey floor that I picked for this house. Oh, I think I'm changing the floor right now. There's something about that floor that was not, it wasn't striking me the right way, you know? I just, I don't know. There, I love the look of the orange floor in some builds, but for some reason I just can't do it. I don't, I, I do not know why. But um, I, so yeah, I just changed it with this lighter wood. And I did something a little interesting. I ended up pulling out some of those blinds and I put it on the sliding glass door. I thought that gave it a really realistic look. Like most sliding glass doors I see have those blinds that you just like pull shut at night. They usually have those. And I knew those blinds existed in the game. I don't know why it's never crossed my mind to actually pull them out and put them on the sliding glass door like that and give it that realistic look that I really like. And I also did it for the sliding glass door up on the second story as well. And now we are over into the living room. I'm just plopping down some couches. I feel like I use these couches literally all the time and I'm not trying to. It's just like I'm, I'm making the save file using only base game and there's just slim pickings. And so I'm sorry that I'm using these all the time. I'm trying to like transfer them out sometimes with another couch that is like this suburban style but then it's a little bit more on the modern side. I use those sometimes and then the other sofas in the game, I feel like they're either really modern, really Victorian, or they're like more for like the mission style houses or like uh, Mediterranean style almost. And so for suburban houses, there's only like a few in the base game. And so I just use those time and time again. <laughs> um, so it's not my fault. It's, it's the Sims team's fault. Uh, they need to make more couches. But uh, anyways, so we are into the bedroom now. Nothing too special. I do like the way this bedroom looks. And I forgot that I added a chimney and I did not add a fireplace. And so I added it in the grandparents' bedroom. And that table that I put right there in front of those chairs, as I was playtesting, it actually did not work. And so I had to move that table off to one of the sides. But... It's still there and so you're able to actually light the fireplace and use everything in the bedroom and it's a very 
beige <laughs> beige and white bedroom with a little bit of green accents and the like the house plants that are there um it's definitely not a colorful bedroom but i was kind of going for it not to be like i was saying in the beginning of this speed build um i really tried to think about elders actually living in this house and so i i chose to make some of the styles are a little bit more modern but then the other styles like i was saying is a little bit more laid back and not laid back, but like traditional. I don't know why I said laid back. It, it just came into my mind for some reason, but like traditional suburban, older style, you know, or at least I tried. There's not many older style like items in the game, um, but, and like I, a personal opinion of mine is that I, I, I'm not fond of the older style. It just looks really outdated and old for some reason, and so I like the more modern, like suburban modern. I don't like a whole typical modern, but I like a suburban modern. And it just looks really bright and cheery and really pretty and new. <laughs> it doesn't look old. Um, so now we are just over into the office nook that's right off the entryway and it's right before you head into the garage and i just put like a little like computer table with a computer and bookshelf it's nothing special at all and like a rug curtains all the decorations you know and oh those pictures right there i thought of a really cute idea as I was building so I'm glad that I remembered to relay it to you guys so as I was building I kind of thought those pictures like the old historical pictures that are supposed to be of like the Sims ancestors I thought that was grandma and grandpa in their younger years and I thought it was super cute my grandparents actually have pictures like that where it's it's one of my grandpa and one of my grandma back in their like early early 20s it was or maybe even 18 or 19 it was really when they first met and it's like old style like that is like black and white and so that's what i thought of and my grandma also has those like in her house and so i thought it was a really cute idea and so i'm glad that i remembered to tell that to you guys sometimes i'll think of stuff as i'm building and i totally forgot to tell you guys you know and so i'm glad that didn't happen here and now we are about over into the garage. I just placed a different de decoration in the kitchen. Um, I have such a hard time talking sometimes for some reason, so my apologies. Um, I placed a different decoration in the kitchen and um, it was like that bird decoration that's like on the branches and I thought it was really cute. And then I also wanted to hurry up and place some furniture outside on the porch before I forgot again because there are times that I go through a whole build and I like post it on the gallery and everything and then after that I realize I did not put anything on the porch and then it defeats the purpose of the front porch and so I hate when that happens and so um, I'm glad that I remembered to do that and so here I am doing something a little weird and different than I normally do. Um, I, I wanted to put a door here. I wanted there to be access to the backyard and the side of the house. I wanted to add a side door. I thought that's a really realistic thing that a lot of houses have that I don't normally do in the houses that I build. And so I wanted to put a door there, but then by the time I put the door there, I guess now that I'm thinking back, I could have grabbed the door that was like in the longer to the, the double wall height, you know, the middle one. And so I, I probably should have grabbed the door out of that catalog, but you know, me, I did not think of it. <laughs> My brain was not braining during that time. And so I ended up having an idea of like just putting like a additional window above that door and quite honestly it's different <laughs> um it's i i i think i like it i think i could not really decide but i ended up keeping it there i thought it looked good enough and it looked different you know and so i i wanted to keep it and so since i put the side door there i wanted 
there to be access to the backyard. And so I made like a little path leading from the side door to the backyard. And I thought it was a cute little um, like detail there. And also I'm putting like terrain paint, like I was just saying the path. <laughs> But I, I was kind of going back and forth between live mode and build by. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I didn't know who that guy was. He did not look familiar to me in my save file. And so I had to check him out. And that is what that was. And it ended up just being the grandpa from the Kim the Lois, Lewis Kim family, or whatever that's called. <laughs> um, and so totally normal. He's from Little Creek. He's fine. He can stay. Um, and then, so, anyways, yeah, I put this, the path there, and I was going back and forth between live mode and build by, because I don't like putting terrain paint directly on the side of the lot. It does something weird where, like, it, it accentuates the lot, where the lot ends, and I really don't like that. I don't like the harsh line. And I really like it to be more natural, so to speak. And so that is what I was doing. And then I um, I would delete like the terrain paint right off of the edge of the lot. And so it looked a little bit cleaner and less harsh. And I was happy with it at the end of the day. And so I ended up leaving it and the garage is done the whole downstairs is done and so now we are upstairs oh here i am i did not know what to put in that area you guys probably seen me struggling um so i ended up just putting some of those like i don't know what you'd call those that's just the the drawing of it's like an architectural picture you know and so i just put it there and i almost put a chess table in here but I ended up moving that outside on the balcony and then I put a game table there instead a little bit better use of the spot I was able to fit more stuff on the build so that was really good and I wish I would have been able to put all four chairs there if that bothers you you could totally like move it and just put the whole game table there and maybe delete the treadmill or something because really honestly you don't need the treadmill you can just have your sim go jogging to lose some weight but I ended up putting the treadmill and then I also put the game table instead. And I know not grandma, grandpa, and the kids can't all play there, but that's fine. You know, grandpa usually doesn't like playing board games anyways, right? And uh, so yeah, now we are in the teen girl's room. So she is really into music. She loves guitar. I She would love to sing too, but the base game does not have singing for some reason, which I think is really lame. But, uh, so she's really into music. She's really into guitar. So I ended up putting a guitar in her room and she loves the color purple. And she actually has the biggest crush on the guy next door. So that is a little um, backstory into their lore. I'm not gonna get too much into it. I'll save that for another video. Maybe I'll put it in the video of when I'm actually making the family. Uh, but who knows, I might just leave it for my save file and you guys just might have to download my save file to find out. But she does have the hugest crush on the guy next door and I can't remember his name. Um, it's He's part of the Suzuki family, which I have them on my YouTube page, go check them out. And so, um, they were also part of my Newcrest series and my Newcrest series play list and so it'll be super easy to find and so now we are over into the child's room so I I did not know what I wanted to make him be I ended up making him like a goofball is the trait that I gave him and he also so I put like a TV in there he's like a really goofy kid and like really sociable and so um, I just kind of made his room true to that. Uh, I ended up putting like one of those night lights there and I put a penguin TV. I'm putting some books on his. Um, I ended up moving those from the dresser over to the computer table. And I also put like a computer table with a laptop and his child like 
activity table and then he has a mental table downstairs and I'm just trying to format his room to look a little bit more interesting. It's kind of a boring room. There's really not much too special about it. Um, I ended up finding these sodas and the debug catalog and so I pulled those out and I put it on like his nightstand next to his bed. I thought that was something like a child would have like just his sodas from the day before next to his bed or something and they'd probably stay there until grandma came and cleaned it. You know how kids are. You can tell them to do something a hundred times and that doesn't mean they're gonna do it, you know? Well, with all that being said, guys, we are nearing the screenshots now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, oh, by the way, I put a bat next to grandpa's side of the bed. I, I thought that was funny. Um, it's, it's like for protection. That's like an old man thing. If you know, you know. But anyways, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave a like. It will help me out a lot. It'll tell YouTube to send it to other people in the algorithm and... Yeah, if you have not subscribed, then subscribe. What are you doing? You've made it this far in the video, guys. Just subscribe to my channel. Help me out. Help a girl out, okay? Um, and also, comment down below what your favorite part of this build is. And if you have any other build ideas, then leave those down below as well. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Find myself wondering what did happen to the last ten. I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe.